So welcome to our first video on trigonometry. So this is part of Exam Learn's educational videos for the Leaving Cert. So here's our logo and then the link is in the description. You can find out more about the website, how you can sign up. Um, so in this video, we're just gonna go through a quick intro to trigonometry. Then later on, we're gonna have uh, basics and revisions such as Pythagoras, sine, cos, and tan. Then we're gonna look at area of a triangle, the sine rule, the cosine rule. Uh, we're going to look at radians, graphs of sine, cos, and tan, the unit circle. Then we're going to look at trigonometric equations and trigonometric identities. So we're going to have about 30 to 40 videos uh, on all of these topics. At the end of the video, a little box will come up with a playlist. If you click on that playlist, you can watch them in order. Um, otherwise, it'll just, it'll just be a box for the next video. Uh, we'd recommend watching them if you find the first few videos uh, a bit basic and you want to get to the last few videos instead of skipping videos. You watch them, there's a little button down the corner, you watch them at a higher speed, which means you don't miss anything here that might be important, uh, but you also get through it a bit quicker. But anyway, we're just gonna go ahead with this intro video and make sure to like and subscribe and sign up to exam. So I'll just cut this off here. So obviously trigonometry, we're gonna be talking about triangles. So the types of triangles, we're gonna have scalene triangles is the first type. So this is where no sides is the same. Oh, I'll just get rid of that. So no side is the same length. No side, same length. Okay, that's about all there is really about uh, scalene triangles, nothing too interesting. Next we have equilateral triangles, okay, which are quite different. And equilateral triangles, all sides the same length. All sides. same length and also all angles equal to 60 degrees okay because that's so that can be important then we're going to have isosceles triangles a little bit more about isosceles so isosceles okay so the two legs are the same and also the two angles here at the feet are the same okay so i'll say that I'll say Two legs the same, two feet angles the same. People always forget that, but it's actually really important. Now there's one or two other cool things about isosceles triangles. So if we want to drop a perpendicular down, so say a perpendicular line down the middle here, okay? So it's gonna have a right angle with this. It's gonna bisect uh, this top angle in two, so it's going to be equal on both sides, and also I'll just do it in a different color. I'll go green. This line on the bottom, so to see this line here, I'm tracing with the pen. That's going to be cut in two as well. So I denoted that with these two green lines in each one, just to show they're the same. Okay, so that means this bit of the line is the same bit as this bit of the line, and that can actually be really useful. The way it can be useful is so see, see this triangle here, I'm tracing out. So the uh, the one with the perpendicular drop down and half of the isosceles. Just gonna redraw that out here. Okay, so no, I'm not sure I'll redraw that, it's not a very good picture. There we go, a little bit better. So that's this half of the triangle. We know this bit, we know this bit, we know this angle, we know this angle, we know that this is a right angle, and that means we can get the height of the triangle generally. Okay, and that can be quite useful because if we want to calculate the area of this, we need the height. So it's just a little trick there if you want to get the height of an isosceles triangle, you can drop that line down as loads of uh, different things you can do with that. And then lastly, so this is a right angle triangle, as you can see there, so I'll just talk a little bit about the right angle triangles then. Um, then right angled triangles, okay, uh, it's gonna be something like this here, it doesn't have to be the best drawing. So the right angle there means it's 90 degrees. Um, so right angle equals 90 degrees. And also probably the most important thing about these then is Pythagoras' theorem. So we, if we have, this is A, this is B, this is C. So this is the hypotenuse because it's the longest line and also it's the one that's opposite the uh, right angle. Okay, so that's always the hypotenuse. We're gonna call it A. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. Okay, so the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the other two sides squared. I'm just gonna call it that is Pythagoras' theorem. And I'm, I'm sure you've all seen that in the junior cert, but it's really, really useful and we're gonna use it all the time. 
just some things about right angles as well. So a lot of the time uh, you can get, say, complicated questions and people might just assume that something's a right angle uh, and that's just wrong. So if you get a real life question, you're allowed to assume. So I'm going to say in real life problem. Uh, you, so you can assume that something is a right angle. You can assume... right angle for so it's kind of a messy here just trying to get it as quick as possible you can assume right angle for buildings okay so if you have a building or an electricity pole or anything like that then you can assume it has a right angle okay but no, otherwise you can't assume so there's some questions later on about um a roof and the roof is like that and some people always assume that there's a right angle but if it doesn't say there's a right angle then you can't assume that there's a right angle so we can't say that that's a right angle um, unless the question tells us. However, if we have a question where we have a building like this, and then, I don't know, someone hangs a rope there, then we can say that it's a right angle. So that's just a small little mistake. I know it doesn't seem very important, but it's just a big mistake that a lot of people do make. Okay, so sorry, I kind of ran through that video, but I wanted to cover a little bit. Uh, and that's just a quick revision. So um, hopefully that all makes sense. And in the next video, we're going to look at sine, cos, and tan. Okay, uh, I hope that helped.